Two, three. There are a number of advantages to having a free wand system. This system differs from most insofar as the sealing mechanism isn't affixed to the base that holds the film, where you can only make a straight north and south seal only in this location. So whatever package we want to seal, we have to bring over here, seal it, turn it around, and trim it. Very tedious when you're doing small items. With a wand-based system, we have the freedom to do this. We're limited only by the capacity of the film. Now, here are nine CDs. I'm going to arrange, now this applies to any small item. I'm going to arrange these inside the film in a grid, three by three. Now, if I was wrapping something smaller, like boxes of crayons, I would do four by four. It's the size of the item that determines how many you can wrap at once. Ideally, we'll do it so that with a single east and west seal, we can get all the columns that we're dealing with. So now that I have this grid here, I'm going to first separate these three CDs into a single sleeve. I'll then slide these over using the sealing wand, push, tilt, pull, separate the next sleeve of three CDs. Line up the next three, push down, and separate the third sleeve of three, sleeve, three CDs. Now, just cut across each of the sleeves at the same time. So instead of having to wrap each CD with two separate seals, a grand total of seven, I believe it is, will do all nine CDs, saving you 11 individual operations. Now, you can shrink these down individually, and again, what we'll do is we'll start on the sides, then we'll do the back, and then we do the front. So here you have a nice, clean, factory sealed for your production CD. But, when we're doing a number of items at the same time, rather than wrap them individually, just take as many as you can hold in your hand, and we can keep the seams away from the front just by heating all the sides at once. Now, if you're just doing one or two packages, use the fold in the film opposite the title so that this doesn't have any seam on it at all. One, each, one side of each of your packages will be without a seam. If you can position your package so that that area without a seam goes against the part that the customer sees, so much the better. Now, once you've done all the sides, then all you have to do is touch up the front and the back. Now, when we're wrapping soap like this, there are other considerations which we will go into later on in the DVD, in a special chapter just for people wrapping soap. And there you go.